Then we had one of those segments. This was a total Vince segment. Logan Paul is in the ring sitting on a ladder. So he starts by cutting a promo about how great Cleveland is. Then he shifts to saying, you know, the best thing I ever did was leave Cleveland. I went to Hollywood. I became a star. You people froze your ass off in the winter. You guys are losers. This place just can't stop losing. He goes, Jake Paul, my brother, he lost his last boxing match. I lost to Seth and Mania. Miz lost tonight. But today, Clevelanders are done losing. I am going to, uh, I made a call. I've been put into the Money in the Bank ladder match. I'm going to win the contract. I'm going to cash it in, take the championship. And then, man, I'm going to come back to Cleveland. We're going to throw back some shots and go crazy. And I'm like, are you a baby face or a heel, brother? Like, what are you doing here? So then. He, he was doing both. You know what happens. Ricochet comes out, and he says he's going to win. And then Shinsuke comes out, and he says he's going to win. And then L.A. Knight comes out. He got a big pop. He's going to win. And then Santos Escobar came out. He's he going to win. He, he, didn't get a, he didn't get any pop. No. And then Butch just starts coming out of the ring. and Okay, okay. so, 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 so the, brand, the brand thing is over. <laughs> yeah, what a brand extension we had tonight. Yeah. Nothing to speak of. I mean, of. like, not even, not, even, not even explanations. Nah, they're just all in the match, so they had to be there tonight. Yeah. So Butch comes down to the ring, and Logan Paul goes, I don't even know who this guy is. And he gets in the ring, and he punches Logan Paul, and we have a big brawl. The ring is cleared. Logan Paul climbs up, and he celebrates with the bell. Or the he, knocked out, he knocked out Butch. He did the big punch. Yeah. I think Logan Paul should win the match. I don't think I don't know that he'll win, but I think he should. I think it'd be a lot of publicity if he, he'd won. And the other thing about that is, is that I think that the briefcase gets so annoying when it's there week after week. But if it's there every now and then, I think it's pretty cool. Hmm. Well, I don't know if he's going to win this, but... I don't know. I think L.A. Knight's probably the favorite, but... I would I think, say L.A. Knight would be the favorite here. Yeah, but they could have Logan Paul, you know, do it, and then, you know, even 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 beat Seth at some point and, you know, come and then lose it or whatever, but, um, you know, because, like, I wouldn't be embarrassed. You know, it's like, it's one thing. It's not like it's David Arquette, you know, where it was total embarrassment to put the title on him. I mean, this guy's great. You know, and he's got... he can He can talk. He looks good. He can work. He's he's great, and he's a big celebrity. He's a bigger celebrity than anyone. He's a bigger celebrity than anyone they got in the entire company. Even you know, so why not? We had Ludwig Kaiser and Matt Riddle, and we finally got a match that went more than two minutes, and it was a pretty good match. And yeah, uh, good. Gunther was out there, and he's doing distractions, that sort of thing. And uh, they had some great spots at the finish where Riddle went for a high knee and a springboard. But Kaiser caught him in mid-move in the springboard and turned it into the Fit Finley rolling fireman's carry deal, which was awesome. And then Riddle tried an elbow off the middle rope, and uh, it got turned into a German. No, actually, Kaiser did. And it got turned into a German in midair. And then he hit the bro Derek, and he got the pin. And then Gunther hit the ring afterwards, and he killed Riddle. And the heels are double-teaming Riddle. And I thought for sure there would get maybe an RK Bro chant or something like that, like somebody to come save this guy. But nothing. Well, and especially when he was, was with Owens and Zayn earlier in the show. Yep, they were nowhere to be seen. Yeah. And Gunther crushed his leg afterwards. They well, sold it like an injury. Especially, especially because Owens and Zayn are the ones that are feuding with Imperium. Yeah. But nothing. Nobody yeah, came not, out. Well, I almost got the impression, you know, like with the... Uh, uh, Vinci, you know, it's almost like is uh, are they doing something with Riddle to, to to ride him out for a few weeks? That's what it seemed like to me. I mean, this looked like an injury angle, is revenge for what happened to. Uh, yeah, yeah, I thought the same thing. We had Kevin and Sammy arguing about whether Kevin had an issue with Imperium, or uh, Imperium ends up showing up as they're arguing, and they said, "Do you see what happened to Riddle? If you're not careful, same thing's going to happen to you." And Kevin's fixing a blow, but then Sammy says, "Oh man, look!" Shows him a text message. They said, "We got to go." So off they went. Text message, by the way, ended up being from Cody. And and the Imperium seemed very disrespected. Well, they, the you know, they, they were. Blew them off. They were yeah, disrespected. They just blew them off. We had footage of Alpha Academy trying to teach Maxine how to do a vertical suplex. And then we had the Viking Raiders versus the Alpha Academy. And, uh, man, another one. 50-50 booking here. They're doing the match. And Valhalla jumps on the apron. Maxine yanks her off, hits her with a suplex on the floor. This week, Chad is so happy that she did a move that he's distracted. Eric hits him with an elevated knee to the back and pins him. 
And so, yes, last week Alpha Academy won. This week the Viking Raiders won. This was 2019 Raw, if I ever saw it. Chad Gable was really good in this match, though. It's really good in every match. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I was watching this going just like, he's been here for years and years and years. It's over, but, you know, he's just too typecast as a comedy guy. We had Natty vowing that she was going to show that she still belonged. So she goes out there to wrestle Rhea, and Rhea destroys her, kills her, smashes her, and we don't have a match. So actually the same angle twice on this show. They did it with Seth. And they did it here with Natty. No mm-hmm. match. Raquel's showing, uh, shown watching TV backstage. Once again, sideways, looking backwards over her shoulder to watch the TV. And she says, I'm stepping into the ring with a legend tonight, Trish Stratus. But what Rhea did was not right. If I win, I'm going to cash in on Rhea. So then Rhea shows up, basically dares her to say it to her face. And Raquel says, you better hope I don't win tonight because you're not ready for me. And, uh... Nope. Luckily for Rhea, she didn't win tonight. Nope. So Cody's warming up backstage, and Tozawa comes up. He goes, if you need a partner, don't worry about it. I'm your man. Do you, do you like do warm-ups like that with a broken arm usually? I think it's for his shoulders. I know, That's but it's doing. like, I just remember when I broke my hand. I could. Well, there's a the difference, Dave. You did not have this super special titanium cast, which allows him full movement of his arm, an inability to feel pain in the arm, and the ability to use it as a weapon against his opponents. If you'd have had that, you'd have been doing this exercise as well. Okay. Yeah. So he says, okay, Tazawa, we'll consider it. And then Kevin and Sammy show up, and they said, you know, anytime you need help, we got your back. And Cody goes, well, you know, Tazawa just came up and offered. So now Kevin's, he's about to flip. And Cody says, well, I didn't accept. I couldn't ask for two better partners than you guys. So Kevin is calm. And away we go. That was the last time that we had a segment with Kevin, so... I think that uh, he kept his cool the whole show. Hmm. Trish and Raquel. So uh, match did not have much heat. And Raquel kind of ragdolled her around for a while. And then Trish got some heat for a while. And then Raquel's making her comeback. And this finish. Zoe is supposed to sweep her leg. But Raquel either forgot or I don't know what happened. But like she barely bumped it all. And then Trish throws her into the post. And then Becky runs down, and Becky attacks Zoe. So Trish goes after Becky, and Becky throws her into the barricade for the DQ. Mm -hmm. So Trish has qualified for Money in the Bank via disqualification. Yes. And then Raquel and Becky are arguing, and Raquel says, I had, and Becky goes, I know, and she's apologizing. What a finish Mm. to get Trish into Money in the Bank. Yep. Well, I mean, it's it's a finish, I thought, that was there to protect Raquel Rodriguez and to set up maybe something with Becky Lynch and Raquel Rodriguez at some point. Um, that's how I viewed it. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh-oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh, my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented oh, at F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big, fat whale. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey! out there. Uh-oh. Hey! Uh- what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey! Taking over the show. Oh no. Dom, Oreo. hit that music, brother. Ah, oh, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, man. Yeah, no. Yeah. I love you guys. I love you. Oh. When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows 
all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.